So hello and welcome. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create HTML5 animated banner. Uh, this is a continuing tutorial. I already created a few very similar tutorials. I'm going to provide the link in the description, but uh, this is what we are going to be doing today. All right, so right now I'm on this website, Pixabay, and I'm going to get some images because there are uh, royalty free images. And I just search for the gym and I'm going to go with this image. I will provide the link in the description because this can change. And I will go uh, with this image. And all you need to do is uh, click on the image. And you can see that you have uh, free for commercial use and no attribution required. Uh, of course, you can uh, use some other images if you want, but I am going to be working with this one. And I'm going to hit pre-download. Uh, now I'm going to choose the size. Uh, it doesn't matter because we are going to be adjusting them in the Photoshop. This is also going to be a tutorial with the short Photoshop a little bit, but I can provide uh, maybe these small images uh, which we are going to create in the Photoshop also in the description, I will see. But uh, I will go with this smaller one because we do not need to have this big one. I'm going to click download and uh, I will have to confirm that I am not a bot and I'm going to click download. And now I'm going to choose some destination, but I already did this, so I'm not going to do it right now. So I'm going to hit cancel. So right now I am in the Adobe Animate and we will go uh, in a few seconds or in one minute to the Photoshop, but I just want to show you why. So right now I am going to hit create new and I am going to uh, choose 300 by 600. So uh, width is going to be 300, the height is going to be 600. Uh, the frame rate, we can leave it as it is, and we would like to have HTML5 canvas, and we are going to hit create. Uh, by the way, you can have uh, your animate a little bit different because they are uh, changing the versions uh, very often, but uh, if you don't see create new, go to the file, and uh, there should be new. But I'm going to hit create, and uh, this is what we are going to have, something like this. And now I'm going to import my images. So I will go to the file. I will go to the import and I'm going to get import to library. And now I will have to, I will have to search my images and I have them in here. So this is the first one. This is the second one. So I'm going to get this one and I have it uh, right now in the library. And if you don't have a library, go to the window and get the library. So, but you should have properties and the library next to it. And here is the image. And I can drag image like so to the, to the Adobe Animate. And now you can see that this image is pretty big. And there is this little icon uh, in here, clip content outside the stage. And if I click this, I am going to see only uh, the banner size, this 300 by 600. And if I click this one more time, I'm going to see the whole image. And this image is uh, too big and it is like uh, too big in the size. If I go to my folder and I will click on the, on the image, I can see that this uh, image has uh, 62 kilobytes. That's fine. But this one has 202 kilobytes. That's not fine. Because what we need is we need a banner, which is together going to have 150 kilobytes. So these two images can have together maybe 70, 80 kilobytes max. And it is not really very easy to create. So uh, we can go to the Photoshop and we can try. So here is my Photoshop and I am going to hit create new. And I'm going to go with uh, again 300 by 600. And this is actually uh, the little way how I used to work in the company and create the banners. And I would like to go with pixels. So one more time, 300 by uh, 600 and hit create. All right. Uh, now I'm going to 
uh, import these uh, images to the Photoshop. So I'm going to get the image and I'm going to drag it to the separate window. So up in here somewhere. And I'm going to have this plus sign and copy and I'm going to leave it like so. And now I'm going to unlock this by clicking on this lock and I'm going to drag it in here. All right. Uh, I will go ahead to my layer one. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose uh, convert to smart object. And basically that means that uh, if I hit control T for the scale and I'm going to scale this uh, down, I am holding alt and shift to stay proportional and I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to hit control T and scale this up. I'm not going to lose quality. If I didn't convert this to the smart object and I would sm uh, scale it down and up, I would uh, destroy the image. Okay, so that's the reason uh, why we did this. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, like so, and place it maybe like this. All right, and I'm going to hit enter. And uh, now I'm going to uh, create some shape. But uh, I, this part, you do not need to follow along, you can. I am going to provide these small images in the description, but I just want to show you the whole process, not only the Adobe Animate part. So here in the Photoshop, you have an option to get, uh, get the ellipse tool like this. And in here, there is an option to have a path, pixels or the shape. And we would like to go with the shape. And in here, I can choose the uh, fill of the shape and the stroke of the shape. So stroke, I do not want to have any. And the fill, fill I would like to have, oh, we can go with maybe something like this. We will change it later on. And I'm going to draw a shape like this. All right. Uh, and the thing is that I would like to have the image and then uh, the part where uh, I'm going to put some text. And this shape, I can hit Ctrl T and I can scale it like so and hold Alt to go to the both sides and hit Enter. So something like this. And actually I'm going to uh, change the color of this shape to maybe a uh, tint of the blue or maybe something like this. This is fine. Right now, uh, here is going to be some text and I want to have only this image, okay? And I just want it to go to Photoshop to create something like this, to see uh, how much of the image am I going to use. So I'm going to hit C and I'm going to do it like so. Okay, uh, C is uh, for the crop tool in here and I'm going to hit enter. So I will need only this uh, size of the image, maybe even a little bit more like this. Okay, I'm going to hide this one and uh, now I'm going to hit uh, on the on the side and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger on this side and on this side. Because in the animate, I would like to create, a, create an animation which will go from the left to the right. And maybe I can do it like so. And I'm going to hit enter. All right. So approximately uh, this size of the image is something that I would like to use in in uh, Adobe Animate. And the reason why I'm doing this because I need to have this image as small as possible. The next thing that I want to do is import the second image. So I'm going to uh, import it like so. Again, I can unlock it or I can just try to move it. It is going to give me this warning, but I am going to click OK and I am going to move it in here. And one more time, right click, uh, convert to smart object, control T for the scaling and I'm going to scale this down to fit in here like so. I can zoom in a little bit and yeah something like this and I was zooming with alt and uh, mouse wheel. Okay I'm going to uh, hit enter and maybe move it a little bit like so. All right, something like this. And uh, one more thing that I would like to create is, uh, is uh, I would like to 
uh, change the tint of these images a little bit, all right? Because this has different tint than this one. So I'm going to uh, get this uh, solid color. I can go with uh, maybe color like this. Okay, it doesn't matter, you can, you can choose uh, something similar. I'm going to hit OK. And I will go and I am going to choose multiply. So somewhere in here is multiply. And I'm going to decrease the opacity to maybe 51. Okay, and maybe I can play with the color right now. Something, something like this, maybe. Okay. And uh, by doing something like this, I am going to make the uh, image size even smaller because I have decreased some uh, colors. They are more, uh, more. Uh, there is less colors right now, so it is going to have uh, the smaller image. And this one, uh, it is going to be affected a little bit. Okay, but this one is going to be affected much more. All right, so now what I want to do is I would like to export them. So I am going to hit File. I am going to go to Export. Or I can go with uh, Save for Web Legacy. I am used to for this one, but you can go with Export this. It is almost the same. And I am going to choose JPEG. And I would like to go maybe with uh, maybe with 50% quality. Okay, because if I go with 100, my JPEG is going to be 148. And my whole banner with all of the JavaScript in there has to be 150, so we can't go with uh, with 100. So this is, the animate is probably the only place where I choose this low uh, quality, but this is something that we have to do if we want to use two images. Okay, and I'm going to hit save, and I'm going to uh, put it to the place where I want to. So here I will go, and I'm going to create a folder. I can call it to be small images. And this is going to be image one. Save. Now I'm going to hide this image and I'm going to export another one. So export. Uh, the shortcut is pretty long. Control Shift Alt S, but I use it all the time. And uh, this one uh, when on the 50% is uh, 12 kilobytes. So I can increase this one to some bigger number. So I can go with uh, 80%. All right, I'm going to hit save. And again, the same location. And this one is going to be image two. And I'm going to hit save. All right. So now I will go back to my uh, Adobe Animate. And I'm going to delete this image from the library. So I will go and I'm going to hit delete and I'm going to import the new images that we just created. So file, import, import to library, and uh, I will go to the small images, and I'm going to select both of them, and I'm going to hit open. Now I will start with, uh, with the image two, for example, and I'm going to put it like so, and I'm going to hit F8, and, uh, F8 means uh, converting to the symbol. I will, ju I will just hit cancel. Uh, you can also go with modify and convert to symbol. So uh, either way. And I can call this to be image one, okay? Because in the other, other be animate, when we want to animate something, we will always have to convert this to the symbol. It is just the rule, okay? So I'm going to move it like so a little bit. And make sure that you don't go like this. So don't have a white space on the top. All right. And now I'm going to create the shape at the bottom. So I'm going to go to the oval tool. When I'm in the oval tool, I will go to the properties. In the properties, I can choose some fill color. And oh yeah, I can go, go maybe with some kind of uh, tint of the orange. And we can't be completely white because uh, uh, Google Ads or some other platforms, they for some banners have rules that you can't have uh, the complete white background because it would be like there wouldn't be any border. So we have to go with at least some kind of tint. And I'm going to create a new layer 
and on this new layer I am going to draw this like so with the shift. All right. Uh, here in the animate there is an option to click this icon, uh, clip content outside the stage, and if, if I click this, this is how my banner is going to look like. So I can drag this down, and I can uh, hit Q, which is a shortcut for free transform. It is in here, and now I can do it like so. Okay, we want to have something like this. Okay, uh, I can unclick this, I just wanted to show you. And I'm going to rename my layers, so this is going to be uh, photo1, for example, and this is going to be bottom shape. Uh, this bottom shape, I do not want to move anymore, and I do not want to right now do anything with that, so I'm going to log it. And this one I'm going to animate. So with my shift and arrows, I'm going to move it like so. I will go to frame 120, click F6, and I am going to move it uh, to, the, to the right, like so. I am going to click anywhere in between, right click, and choose create classic twin. And right now we are going to have an animation like this, okay? Uh, now you can see that uh, my shape uh, has disappeared, and it is because uh, it is only on the first frame. So you can go to the frame 150, click F5, and even though it is locked, you are able to extend the timeline on uh, this image. All right. Uh, now, one thing that we should do uh, is we should go ahead and save the file. So I'm going to hit File, uh, Save, and I will go to the place where I want to save it. So uh, here I am, and I'm going to create a new folder, and this folder I am going to call Banner because in this folder we are going to have the animate file, but we are also going to have some exported file. And I'm going to call this file to be Jim. Okay, and you can see that uh, we have this animate document .fla, which stands for flash. They didn't change this uh, animate name. Doesn't matter, I'm going to hit save. All right, now I can hit Control enter and this is going to uh, test my animation in the browser. And this is how this is going to look like. Okay. Uh, one thing that I don't like is I don't like this uh, color. So I'm actually going to change it to tint of the blue, probably. So I will go like this and maybe like this. Okay. So something like this. I can uh, lock it and I can see. And uh, this is a little bit better. I, I would prefer this to be completely white. But... Uh, that's something that we probably can't do. But maybe I will I will go to to closer to the white, to maybe something like this. Okay. And log it. Uh, so now uh, I'm going to create a new new layer and on this new layer I'm going to get uh, the second image. So no, the first image but the second image in the animate like so. Uh, I'm going to rename this to be photo2 and I'm going to put it below the bottom shape and the same thing, I'm going to hit F8 or go to the modified, convert to symbol, uh, I can call this to be image2 and I'm going to hit OK. I will unclick this uh, clip content so I can see and I'm going to animate this from the left, from uh, left to right, yes, <laughs> okay, and uh, now I'm going to get this keyframe, move it to maybe frame 100, uh, with this slider move on the timeline, go to maybe frame uh, 220, uh, be sure that you are on the same layer, click F6 and move it like so, with shift and arrows, and I'm going to uh, click anywhere in between, right click, choose create classic twin. And uh, now what I want to do is put photo one uh, about the photo two, like this. So photo two is below. And on the photo one, I can create new keyframe by clicking F6 or right click and insert keyframe. And then go to the last keyframe, click on the image, go to the properties and choose 
alpha to be zero. And right now this is going to animate like so. And from this keyframe to this keyframe, it is going to slowly fade away. And the second image is going to be animating below. Okay. Uh, now we can see that this bottom shape is uh, not long enough and it is going to disappear. So all I need to do is go in here and extend it. I'm going to hit F5. Uh, the difference between F5 and F6 is F6 gives me new keyframe and I can create the changes on the keyframe and F5 just extend the, the timeline of the, of the shape or of the image. All right, I'm going to hit save. I'm going to hit control enter and we are going to check what we have so far. All right. Okay, fine. Uh, maybe one thing that I'm going to do is uh, I am going to uh, unclick this and I will put this a little bit back like so. Okay, because uh, in the in the animate or in the Google ads, there is a rule that after half minute, the animation will have to stop. So this is how the banner is going to look like when it stop. Uh, fine. Uh, we can quickly create some kind of text to animate in and out. So I am going to get a text tool with maybe uh, I will get some kind of color like this. And uh, I don't, it doesn't matter what font you are going to use right now. And I'm going to type, uh, I don't know, do you, do you want to go to gym? You should uh, do something more creative, uh, but uh, it doesn't matter. Do you want to go to gym? I'm going to align this to the center. And maybe I'm going to make it a little bit uh, bigger like this. And uh, I would like to have this text from the beginning. And then maybe somewhere in here, I would like to uh, make it disappear. But first of all, we will have to convert this to the symbol. So I will click on the text, modify, uh, convert to symbol. And I can call this to be text one. And I'm going to click OK. And uh, now, once it is a movie clip, I am going to uh, go maybe to frame 80, hit F6 for the new keyframe, go to frame 100, F6 one more time. And on this one, I am going to click this and I'm going to choose that my alpha is going to be zero and I will go in between and create classic twin. Okay. Uh, hopefully I am not going uh, too fast uh, for some of you. Uh, it's like, uh, the last few days I was doing uh, more tutorials like this and uh, maybe I'm too fast right now. Maybe I will try to slow down. But uh, yeah, you can uh, rewatch this uh, or watch this slower if you want. Do you want to go to gym and it is going to disappear? And we are going to rename the layer to be text one. We are going to create one more layer. This is going to be text two. And on this text too, uh, I can type something like uh, first training is for free. This is something that uh, people like <laughs> free stuff. So first training is for free. Again, I can click and I can align this at the center. I can one more time click hit F8 or uh, modified convert to symbol. Choose that this is text to hit OK. And I do not want to have this text from the beginning. So I'm going to click on the keyframe. I'm going to drag it somewhere here. I will create new keyframe F6. And on the first keyframe, I am going to click on the keyframe and I'm going to choose that alpha is going to be zero. I will click in between, right click, create classic twin. And now my first text is going to disappear while my second text is going to appear. All right. Uh, one thing that uh, we can do to make this animation look uh, a little bit better is go ahead and uh, duplicate this bottom shape. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose duplicate layers. And this uh, new layer, I am going to change the color and I will get maybe uh, some kind of blue like this. 
and I am going to put it up a little bit. So I will click on this one and put it up like so. And I'm going to put it below the, the white shape. Okay. And right now we are going to have something like this. And I can even click it one more time if I am able and put it higher. So we are going to have something like this. And I think that this, uh, this is just little addition, but it looks a little bit better. And the reason why I wanted to do something like this is that uh, right now I would like to create uh, some kind of uh, button, call to action. I'm going to hit new layer. I can call this layer to be button. And I will go to the, to the rectangle tool. In the rectangle tool, there is an option uh, to create uh, rectangle corner radius. Depending on the version, this may look a little bit different. But I would like to go maybe with uh, 40. And this is just means that uh, we are going to have a uh, radius on the corner and I'm going to create a button like this. And I'm going to create some text for this, uh, for this, uh, uh, for this button. And I will, I will get the color of this one and I'm going to write, uh, more info. This is. This is something very simple like this. And maybe I can change this color to a uh, white color, something like this. Or we can go with the, uh, it, it's up to you. What do you prefer? We can make this one to be a little bit, little bit more uh, blue like so. And yeah, now it, the text is more visible. Okay. And we can make the text little bit, little bit, smaller like this and now I'm going to click on the shape and with shift on the text F8 and I'm going to call this my button for example and I'm going to hit OK and we are going to animate this uh, in because we do not want to have this from the beginning so I'm going to I'm going to uh, get it somewhere in here uh, create new keyframe F6 and on this one, I'm going to click and I'm going to choose that I want my alpha to be zero. This one has the full alpha and I'm going to create classic twin and we are going to have uh, something like this. All right, I'm going to hit control S and this is going to save this. Fine. Uh, so now we can go ahead and play what we have so far. So I'm going to hit control enter and we have the first image, first text, second image, second text, and then we have this more info. All right, uh, by default, uh, this animation is going to be looping forever. And uh, that is something that is not acceptable for uh, Google Ads. So we will, have to, we will have to stop this animation. And by the way, one thing, uh, I am probably going to say this in all the tutorials, just in case. Uh, there is possibility that uh, one of your layer or more of your layers are going to have something like this. I just clicked F5. That the timeline is going to be longer. And in that case, the end of the animation is just going to be that part of the, of the animation. So if you want to get rid of this, all you need to do is select this, right click and choose remove frames or shift F5. And you can get rid of that. I just wanted to show you in case that uh, some of you are going to have some kind of issue. All right. So now I want to show you how you can stop the animation. And there are a couple of ways. Uh, one of the way is go to the file and publish settings. And there is an option to loop timeline. So if I click this or unclick this and I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to hit Ctrl Enter, my animation is going to loop once and then it is going to stop. So I'm going to hit Ctrl Enter and we have the first animation. We have the second animation. And then the banner is going to stop. Oh, okay. Uh, there is also another way. And uh, this is something that we will have to uh, search online. So I'm going to type Adobe Animate Loop Timeline. And I'm going to provide the link in the description. And uh, this is going to search me some sites and I will, I will go with this one. And in here, there is a code. Okay, this code, I'm going to copy this 
And this is something that you do not need to do. And you do not need to actually understand very much. But uh, I will show you. Uh, I will go to my file, publish settings, and I'm going to click this loop timeline and I'm going to hit OK. And instead of doing it like that, we can do this with code. And I'm going to show you the simpler way. So I can go ahead and call this to be code or stop or anything like that. I can right click, choose actions. And in the actions, this is going to open with text editor like this. And if I type this dot stop and like this, this parenthesis, or I don't know how to call them, uh, and close this with this arrow, this is going to stop the animation. But right now it is here at the beginning. You can see this little A maybe, which stands for the actions. Uh, this would stop the animation immediately. I'm going to hit Ctrl Enter and we are not going to have any movement. But I can put this at the end. And uh, if I put it at the end, this means that uh, the animation is going to play and when it hit this A, it is going to stop. So this would do the same thing as the file, publish settings and loop timeline if I uncheck this. Okay, but if I uh, go ahead in here and I will uh, get rid of this and I'm going to paste the code that we get from the website, uh, all of this means is that uh, it is going to loop three times and then it is going to stop. If I change this three to number two, it means that it is going to loop two times and then it is going to stop. All right, you do not have to change anything. All you need is this code and it is going to work, okay? I'm going to hit Ctrl Enter and uh, you will see that this is going to play once. Then it is going to uh, play one more time. And after the second time, this is going to, uh, this is going to stop, all right? And as I said, uh, the Google Ads has a rule that the animation can't be longer than half minute. And we can calculate this very easily. If we have a frame per second, 30, it means that this is one second, three seconds, and so on. You even have it in here. So uh, here are seven seconds and something. So we can loop these three or four times. But usually in the work, we have created animations that were uh, maybe 10 to 15 seconds long, and we looped them two times. But this is optional, but together, it doesn't matter how many loops you are going to have, but in the, at the end of the animation, it shouldn't be longer than a uh, half minute. All right, fine. Uh, now I'm going to show you how you can uh, publish your files. So I'm going to hit Ctrl S, and actually I will go to the place where I uh, saved my animate file. So in, here in the banner, and you can see that uh, we have a bunch of stuff in here right now. We have this animate file. This is the recover file. These are fine. And there is some JavaScript, some HTML and some images. All right. I'm going to delete them right now because, uh, and I'm going to leave only the animate file and you can't uh, delete this one because you have it open right now. And I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this folder to be index. And I will go to the animate and I'm going to hit file, publish settings. And here is this uh, select public, publish destination. I'm going to click this and I'm going to, I'm going to choose uh, this location index and I'm going to call this one also index and I'm going to hit save, uh, okay. And then I will go to the file and I'm going to choose publish. And right now, if I go to my index, uh, I'm going to have all of these files inside. Uh, one issue is that my images right now are combined in the, uh, in one image and it is going to be PNG and it is going to be 200 kilobytes. So I do not want to do that. So I'm going to go to the file, 
publish settings. And this is a little bit advanced stuff. Uh, what we need to do is uh, export image assets. And we want to go from texture to image assets. And image assets means that uh, publish imported images as it is. Okay. Uh, the texture is convert complex shapes to bitmap for better performance. And sprite sheet is combine all images into sprite sheet. So sprite sheet is going to combine them all together. The texture is going to also combine them together, but it is going to uh, con convert some vectors to the to the bitmaps. So it is some sometimes useful. But if you go with image assets, it is going to publish them as they are individually and so on. So I'm going to hit OK and I will go hit File and Publish. And right now, if I go to my images, I'm going to have these two images and I'm going to have this one. So I can delete this one. I do not need it. I need only these two images. And uh, one more thing that you need to do if you want to uh, make this for the Google Ads is go to the file. Uh, publish settings and in HTML JS there is this option hosted libraries and when this is checked it means that uh, this banner is going to get some JavaScript and some code from the libraries that are online but uh, Google Ads need to uh, have this unchecked and when I uncheck this and I'm going to hit OK and then publish it is going to create uh, it is going to create one more folder, libs, libraries in here. And it means that these libraries are not going to be uh, loaded from the web, but they are going to be inside of the banner. Okay. And right now there is one last thing that we need to do. We need to add some meta tag in the HTML5 uh, in, the, in the index. So again, I'm going to go to the Google and also I will provide the link. Uh, I am going to uh, type uh, HTML5, uh, HTML5, Adobe Animate Meta Tag, something like this. And uh, again, this is going to give me some sites. And uh, this one, uh, or maybe not this one, but some other one is going to give me uh, the, the link that I have to, uh, the code that I have to paste. And it is this one, this meta name and so on. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to open my index HTML. And uh, normally I would open this with uh, something like uh, brackets or PHP storm or something like that. Uh, but some of you don't have this text editor because you don't code. So you can open this with Notepad. So I'm going to click Notepad. And right now, here is this meta hard set UTF-8. And under that, I'm going to paste my uh, meta tag. And I will have to change this 300 by 600. Okay, you will have to change this uh, to the way how your size of the banner is. Okay. And I'm going to hit save. I'm going to close this. And all I need to do right now is right click, choose send to and compress zip folder. Okay. Uh, you can see that we have uh, 139 uh, kilobytes. So this is smaller than 150. So this is fine. And this is something that you are going to send to your client. All right. And uh, if there is something else needed uh, for the platform, your client should be able uh, to do it because this is this is enough. Uh, uh, how you can what you need to do uh, for your banner to work. Okay. Uh, if you go ahead and put this to some HTML5 validator, it is going to uh, give you warning that it needs. Uh, I can show you uh, that it needs uh some link but uh, the link is going to be something that uh, people who are going to put this in the adwords are going to add but uh, i can show you i can type something like 
uh, HTML5 validator, okay, and something like this. And I can go ahead and upload my file in there. So it is in here, banner index zip. And that is going to check whether everything uh, is uh, fine in this banner. And everything is fine, except this missing click tag check. And uh, there is like no click tag was detected within, within this file and so on. But this is something that you don't do. This is something that people who go give this banner to the, to the Google Ads, they do it in there, all right? So, but yeah, this is it. Uh, this is how you can uh, create the HTML5 banner in the Adobe Animate with correct sizes and with all of the stuff that you need for the Google Ads and uh, other uh, platform like this. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like. Uh, go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this. And hopefully I'm going to see you in the next video. So thank you very much for watching one more time. Have a nice day. Goodbye.